In a recent interview, Pope Francis said that Ukraine should have the courage to, quote, wave the white flag and negotiate. Speaking to the Swiss Radio Televisione Svizzera, the Pope also said that Ukraine shouldn't be ashamed to negotiate and carry out peace talks as many lives are being lost. The waving of a white flag is universally recognized as a symbol of surrender. The Pope's remarks prompted immediate reactions from both the Ukrainian and German ambassadors to the Holy See. On the social media platform X, they urged the Pope to appeal to Russia to cease hostilities. Fittingly, as the world responded to Pope Francis's remarks, a conference on truth, justice, and liberty in a pluri-anthropological world took place at the Pontifical Gregorian University. It was here that we had the opportunity to speak with Professor Miroslav Marinovich of the Ukrainian Catholic University, a renowned human rights activist. Pope Francis, uh, just a few days ago, asked the Ukraine especially to, to wave the white flag. There were a lot of reactions. What is your reaction to that? For uh, Pope Francis, white flag uh, means uh, negotiations. For us, it means surrender. For him, it is better to save human lives. And we know that we lose, we will lose human lives and we will lose our opportunity to be a, a, a nation if we surrender. So it is differ, different perceptions, different experience of life if, if you if you like. Talking about conflict in Gaza, Pope Francis in that same interview said, quote, negotiations are never a surrender. It's the courage not to carry a country to suicide. The Vatican's Director of Communications, Matteo Bruni, issued a statement seeking to clarify the Pope's words. He said Pope Francis picked up the white flag term because it had been used by the interviewer. He said Pope Francis used the term to mean calling for a truce and the courage to negotiate. Secretary of State Cardinal Pietro Parolin, speaking to the Italian newspaper Corriere della Sera, clarified that the Pope's appeal for creating conditions for a diplomatic solution aims at a just and lasting peace, highlighting that negotiation signifies strength and courage, not weakness or surrender.